Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch this short video that gets you started using Image Hunter, the only online imagery search engine, powered by Apollo Mapping. The first step to doing any search is defining the area of interest that you want to take a look for imagery for. This can be completed in multiple different ways. I'm going to walk you through a few of the ways in this video. The first and perhaps easiest is a search by a location by name. Let's try Boulder, Colorado, as that is where we are based. Once you type it in the, the bar up here, you press enter and it will zoom you to the location and it will create an appropriate size polygon for you automatically. There are also other ways to search. If you would prefer to search by an address, for instance, you can do that as well. And it'll just create a much smaller polygon as you're searching for a small address. Another way you can search is by entering your coordinates, your latitude and longitude coordinates. So here, you'd ask to enter your latitude, let's do 40 degrees north, and your longitude, say 100 degrees west, and then the area of the polygon you want, let's go with a five by five kilometer polygon, and then you press submit, and there you go. You have another polygon that you can do with searches. An alternate, another alternate way to do it would be by uploading a KMZ or a shapefile that you might have of your area of interest. Your shapefile will need to be zipped and in geographic WGS84 projection. Let me show you that process here. So you press the upload polygon function in the top bar, you select your file, press open, it'll take a couple seconds to load, and then here we are in Kinshasa with our search results over here. Another way to do it would be to create a custom polygon over an area of interest. So let's try this again in the same area that we're at now. If you press the rectangle selection button, it'll clear your old polygon. You click, drag, and when you're done, lift up on the button, and there you go, another polygon to use. And a final way you can create a polygon would be by doing the polygon selection, which is just a freeform polygon. So in this case, you just click around the area that you want to define, and at the end, you double click, and it will take you It'll create a polygon and show you their search results. Now over here, we have the search results, as you've seen in all the searches I've done. As you scroll through the list, what'll end up happening is more and more results will be being loaded dynamically as you're scrolling through the results. So you'll end up with a pretty long list of results here. So let's just show you what this looks like when you load a preview. When you click on the area or the, the CAD ID that you want to load or the date that you want to load, It'll show you a little preview here, and it'll give you different, different coverage options. So let's just select a couple scenes that you might be interested in. So now we've selected four scenes that we're interested in ordering. The next step would be to submit your quote with this little button here. You enter your information. And once you're done entering these key pieces of information, you'll be good to go. You just press submit and off an email is sent to the Apollo mapping team and we'll be back in touch within four hours. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have more questions about it, feel free to email us at the email address up here at the top bar by just simply clicking on it, sales at apollomapping.com. Have a great day. Thanks everybody.